What a journey. If you made it to the end of this vlog, you now know the release date of A Little Luck. Hello everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. Please excuse my freshly washed hair in, an, in its t-shirt, but hello, welcome to part two of editing A Little Luck. It is officially Monday, June 26th. Today, I took off of work because this past weekend I was at my cabin with my friends and I was like, okay, knowing me, I'm gonna need a day off. I'm gonna need a day to recoup and relax and do things but also because i've just given up a whole weekend of work that i usually spend on my writing that's usually when i get my most writing done so monday is going to be recoup day and writing day editing day get as much work done on a little lock day <laughs> so i wanted to start this vlog officially here i don't remember what the word count was at the end of the last vlog but i'll put it on the screen so that's our starting mark with a little luck for for at least this half of the project. Currently the draft is sitting at 51,498 words. I have added in all of the words I need to part three. So if you've watched part if you've watched part one of this video series, this vlog series, you'll know that my editing technique has changed a little bit from book one, A Second Story, to book two, A Little Luck, and also from the beginning of what I was doing with A Little Luck to like where I'm at now. So originally I was doing a like story edit. I was writing the words over again for like each part of the book. That's what was, that was my plan. And then I was gonna go back over that part and do a line edit. So I'm gonna do something very similar to that, but for some reason with this project, I just want to be reading and editing as I go instead of actually like writing and editing as I go. So instead I've just taken the entire chapter from what I've previously written and thrown it into this draft and I'm going to edit from there. Plan is, <laughs> the plan is to officially finish the full line edit of part two and making sure that all of the comments from my beta reader have been included which I have already gone through and written down her comments on those chapters and her thoughts as she's gone through, which is great. As I'm going through, I'm just making it pretty. I'm just making the words pretty, I'm making the making the sentences. I just had a mini coughing fit, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go back through part two. I'm gonna make part two better. <laughs> Ooh, something doesn't want me talking right now. That's so funny. Part two needs its line edit to be finished and then I can work on part three as we kind of go forward here. But if you guys have also seen the last vlog, you'll know at the end of the vlog I needed, I was like, please, for like beta readers, please, to be able to do like really tight turnaround. And two people have reached out to me. So I'm so happy about that. So I'm gonna have two more people reading this in a really tight timeline for me before I go into another round of edits in July. At the end of July, August, so fingers crossed that, that's, that this goes well and I can finish this by the first week of July. So originally my deadline was July 1st, but it, since it is June 26th and I am technically only really just about halfway through the edits, I don't know how J July, 20, July 1st is gonna work as a deadline. So in my head, that's like my firm deadline, but then I've given myself a ghost of a week, like an extra week if I need it to get this edit done. So by July 8th, 9th, whenever that weekend is, that's when I'm gonna send this off. Two of those betas I'd have a little bit of a break from that, from, from this story at least. That's what this is gonna be. It's just another, we're gonna hopefully have this, this vlog is gonna be the next half of a little Lux editing and fingers crossed it goes well. Hopefully this last half of the book is good. This last half of the book is a lot less polished than the first half because when I originally wrote this draft, when I, when I originally started a little luck was back in November of 2022 because I was writing it for NaNoWriMo. I'm apparently falling apart. I'm weeping. I, my nose is rotting. Jesus Christ. Back in November of 2022, I started this and I was doing like extreme NaNoWriMo where I was trying to do 70,000 words in 30 days again, which is what I did for a second story to get that let's get that story out but this one just didn't work that way it's a bigger story november is a really weird mental health time for me because it's the end of the year everything's just kind of coalescing into one it just didn't really work out i got like 60,000 words down which is incredible i did like nanoremo great awesome but i burnt myself out so hard with that with this with this story and then i came back to it and i originally said in the last vlog it was like february i came back to it like officially in like april <laughs> so april may june july august september six months with not like steadily working on it. That's, this is where I'm at now. <laughs> so of those 60,000 words, when I came back to the draft officially in like March, April of this year, previously to do my draft 1.5 of this, 
so to officially like actually finish the draft because I never did that back in November. The first 40,000 words of this story were repolished and redone and organized and better, much better. And then the last part of the story was a lot of me just fast drafting and figuring out what I was doing as I was going. So the last half of this book is less polished than the first half. So we're gonna figure out what's going on today is officially a work entirely on a little luck day. So it is currently 1.30 in the afternoon. So the afternoon is going to be spent doing this as much as I can. Hopefully, like fingers crossed, the goal for today is to finish part two's line edits and then dive into part three's line edits for sure. And probably organizing part four and part five's like story stuff, reading over beta stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of work today, but I'm excited to get into it. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Sit back and grab yourself a coffee. We're gonna get into it. A little luck. My sapphic cozy fantasy is underway. Hello friends, it is now 5.16. <laughs> so I've been at this for just over three and a half hours, nearly four hours, and I've not gotten nearly as much work done as I wanted to. It's going so much slower than I thought. I have done one, two, three, four. I'm on my fifth chapter of the day of part two. I'm into chapter 16 where I'm doing another comb through of edits. That's where I'm at. Still okay though, like it's going fairly okay. We're sitting at says I've added 437 words, but I've done so much editing and cutting that I don't know if that's exact or not, because sometimes Scrivener likes to mess that up if you're cutting so much and then adding, and then you're cutting a whole bunch and then adding again. It doesn't quite balance properly. Who knows? I'm sitting at 51,889 51, words. Whatever I said at the beginning of this video, that's how many I've added now. I am liking going through this a, I think some of these chapters I've done like a third time. I don't know how many chapters I've done in part two, but going over it again and again and again is just the best thing you could do. I think I'm gonna try and get part two done in the next like hour. So I'm gonna try and speed through the next one, two, three, four, five chapters. So five and a half chapters, I'm gonna try speed through them in like one read through and try and edit it really quickly so that I can get to part three and work on those as well. Cause <laughs> just, I feel like I'm stuck in part two for some reason. I haven't been able to like break past it. Who knows? We'll see. But yes, I, things are going okay. Like nothing's too crazy. I don't think I've missed anything from my comments here from my beta reader. I haven't really looked at them. It's such a fun thing going through beta reader edits and then like have, making notes on them or whatever and then reading your stuff and editing it afterwards because sometimes a lot of these things like do stick in your brain and you are thinking of them as you go through but then some of them don't stick in your brain at all. <laughs> like the postal system one, did I? I need to do that. Hold on, let me back up a little bit. I'm gonna have to go back into that. Anyways, sorry, I'm getting distracted, but yeah. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep trying to do this. Keep trying to work my way through part two. Hopefully in the next hour by I can have more than just one more chapter done. Have a couple chapters done, maybe all of them. And then think about making dinner. I'm not sure, I had a really late lunch, so maybe I'll make dinner later, but it feels like I've done so little, but then I remember that I've just edited four and a half chapters, so. <laughs> That's a lot of work when you're reading through and kind of like really thinking through things. And, but I, I just keep, just keep getting distracted and it's either my phone or messages coming in, or I just keep picking up my phone and scrolling for a bit and mm, I need to throw my phone across the room and just like focus. <laughs> this is not helping. <laughs> I just keep getting distracted today, but hopefully I can get part two done at least today, finish that up. And then maybe later tonight, come back and start part three if I can do that. Who knows? I'm just gonna keep going. My brain needs to focus. <laughs> so let's get back to it. Okay, it's about an hour later. It's 6.30. I did an hour intense focusing on the story. I checked my phone across the room. <laughs> And I set a timer, but it didn't go off for like 30 minutes at 5.30, but I'm here. I went through two chapters in the hour. So I have three chapters left to do and I'm not hungry. So I'm gonna go put some chicken on, which is gonna about, take about 20 minutes to cook. So in those 20 minutes, I'm gonna try to get through another chapter, maybe even a chapter and a half because this chapter is a little bit shorter. It's only 1600 words where the other two were about 2200 words. So hopefully this one can go a little bit quicker and then get into those last two and power through and be done with part two. I need to be getting into part into part three. But there's also something that I realized I didn't change in part one that I need to actually change. It's like a decision that I finally have made <laughs> for something to do with Lottie. Lottie's appearance specifically. I originally had her because she's an Earth Ganassi and I based her off like a tree person. I 
had her originally with like leaves in her hair and like the semantics are too difficult to deal with with like what I've been describing her like doing as hair styles and stuff like that so I'm just gonna take out the fact that there's like the occasional leaf that grows in her hair it's fine she's just gonna have bright green hair instead that's what I'm gonna change <laughs> little things little things like that I'm also gonna charge my computer just a touch after I'm done the next chapter because it's currently sitting at 30% so I'm gonna do that first and foremost chicken okay we're officially Wow, officially seven and a half hours into this and I've finished part two. <laughs> it is 9, 10 p.m. Granted, I did take a break to have dinner, so not overly terrible, but I finished finally part two. So now I think my brain is done for the editing stuff. So I think now I'm just gonna kind of prep part three. I guess I should take a look at this just to make sure that I have everything done. I love when I just write one word with like three question marks after it. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me anymore. This has been a couple days. I need to write clearer. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're done. Part two, check. Now I'm going to, I think, read through part three's comments and then call it for the day because I'm so tired. Well, I've been staring at a screen for seven and a half hours, so that tracks, but what a good day to start us off on. And I'm now sitting at 51,875 words. So I don't even think I changed the word count a whole crazy amount. Like I added some details and then I deleted just a, like a chunk of, <laughs> of text from another part. So it all balanced and, and it's just, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, friends, welcome to the vlog. First day in. We're back into it. We're going. So next up, we have the line edits of part three and kind of story edits as well, just to make sure that I've got them all down. And then there's only part four and part five left to do big story edits and line edits for. Fingers crossed that this week I could get a lot of that work done. This weekend coming up, hammer out some more productivity and we'll see where things go. This weekend is also a long weekend. It is my mom's birthday on Thursday as well. I really don't want to go back up to the lake. I know my parents are gonna want me to, but if I do, bring my computer with me and just work on this all weekend. But I might just finagle to stay at home because I was at the at the lake this past weekend. So we'll see, we'll see. That's, <laughs> that's future me's issue. For right now, we're gonna go into beta edits and look at that. But yeah, I will update you guys when I've got more work done there's something else to talk about but yeah day of work has been completed hello my friends it is officially 3 30 a.m between the first and the second of july we'll call it saturday the first <laughs> hello i wanted to pop in and let y'all know there has been a fun development in my editing style for a little luck because apparently this is just the book of change for me and that is i'm apparently the most productive at 2 a.m don't know what it is this past week on Wednesday, I was just kind of sitting watching TV and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing, but it was like one in the morning. And I was like, I'll just do like a half hour of editing. I'm in the mood for it and I'm awake. So I'm like pretty awake, not just like my eyes are open, but like, no, I'm awake cause insomnia and I am just more productive at night, I guess. And so I started editing and then a bug flew across my room into those curtains. And I was like, well, I can't fall asleep now. I must eliminate this bug because I cannot sleep with a bug in my room, knowingly. It's, you know, you know. And so after trying to hunt for it with my vacuum nozzle, <laughs> couldn't find it. So I was like, well, I can't fall asleep until I see it again. So I stayed up until like 3, 3.30, editing a little luck. I got through the majority of the chapters of A Little Luck Part 3. I got through so much of it, I only had two chapters left to go through. By the time I found the bug and killed it, because I'm awesome, I found it, it was great. Hell yeah. <laughs> I saw it fly again, and I was like, you, and I got it, and it was great. But yeah, so <laughs> stayed up till 3.30, editing, and I was the most productive I have ever been. Because I literally, two days before that, on Monday, I just had that like seven and a half hour editing day. I got through all of part two in seven and a half hours. I got through almost all of part three, which is very comparable in size because for some reason, all of my parts are within a couple thousand words of each other in two hours. I don't know what it is. Is it the, is it the energy of the room? Is it the lack of TV? Is it, is it the fact that it's midnight outside, dark, no one else is awake, and my brain's like, let's be productive. I don't know. Anyways, it is now <laughs> the 1st of July, which is officially my self-imposed deadline. I am not done. I am done. Part three though, 
which I just finished tonight. I actually decided to move chapter 30, which was originally the end of part 3, and I moved it to the beginning of part 1 because it just felt better, like the ending of chapter 29 felt better as like the end of a part, this go around. So managed to finish part 3 and then go through chapter 30, which is in the first one of, of part 4, in like not even an hour today. Like what time is it? It's 3.30. I started at two and I've been just dicking around for the past half hour because I'm still wide awake, but like this is not conducive to my life because it, thankfully it's a long weekend. The Wednesday one, not conducive. Thursday, was I alive? No, <laughs> I was not awake at work. I was just sitting at my desk like, I got like three hours of sleep, barely, let's go. <laughs> and it gets to the point of like, especially not on that Wednesday, I was sitting there and this is just turning into me talking about my sleep schedule, but I was sitting there and I was editing and it was like 3.30 and I had killed the bug at that point and I was like, do I just stay up until it's like the sun's out and keep going? Do I do that to myself? And I was like, no, Jenna, don't even think of that. Don't even put that in your brain. You need to sleep like a normal human being because you have a normal human being job that requires you to function in the hours of the morning. Like, ugh, God. New things, I am the most productive between the hours of one and 3 a.m. <laughs> just, just not conducive to anything I'm doing. But I'm happy with what I'm doing. Like chapter 30 that I just did, y'all, I was kicking my toes. I was squealing. I was doing that like, oh, like, oh, people are gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> And this is why I'm so happy I'm doing a slow burn because I get to mess with y'all. It's such a slow burn and I love it so much. And it's just chapter 30. It's called Breakfast. Enjoy. It's so good. I will remind y'all, there is no spice in my books at this point in my writing career. It's cozy fantasy. There's no spice in my books. But I'm not holding back on the yearning and the angst and the tension. Cause sometimes, you know what? I find it more intimate when I'm reading a book and like more like, ooh, make my heart feel so good. When like the tension is really good, when the connection is really good and when there's no sex on the table. I guess there's always sex on the table, but like in like the tension scenes, but ugh, really not in, the, not in this case. I could have easily turned it into one of those scenes, but like it's so there's it's some, there's something so pleasant and also just perfect about Ray's tension in the scene, you know? Like it's bringing back that the hand thing from Mr. Darcy in the 2005 Pride and Prejudice, the sexual tension of that, you know? You know. It's 3:30 a.m. and I'm trying to explain myself in a very educated way. I'm having troubles. <laughs> Done part 3. I have also gone through and added all of part 4 and all of part 5 just into the word documents so that like my scrivener is now sitting at like 88,000 words cuz I've added words and it's like it's filled. I'm just reading through now to edit, which is proving to be the way that my brain wants to edit this draft. So, we're just going to keep going and I've actually found this lately this past like go through is that i'm not really going through each chapter like i usually do i'm going through each chapter linearly like through through it like you're supposed to read it you know but then i'm like bouncing back and kind of like refixing stuff and it's this whole book this draft from like not even this draft this whole story from per from the moment that I picked it back up this like April, March, March, April situation has felt so much like a puzzle being put together in different aspects because like I know the whole story. I had the whole story planned out. It was just a matter of me making the pieces fit in the right spots and it still feels like that. Like it's still me just like moving and kind of massaging the stuff back and forth and I've noticed too that because I'm kind of bouncing around just a touch in my head. I don't know where we are in the story right now. So I like, honestly, I don't know the order of my story properly unless I like really thought about it, which is something that I didn't have with a second story. With a second story, I could rattle off that plot top to bottom because I know I've gone through it so many times linearly. So I need to read this story properly top to bottom for this next like in between this next edit because the way that I'm doing it now is confusing me more because <laughs> I when I was doing part two's line edits and working on part three's like story stuff I was so bamboozled and confused about where I was in the story because I was like didn't this just happen then I had to think and I was like no we're a little earlier in the story than that right and even today I was like why did I start this chapter like this when I know the previous chapter ended like this it's not a new day it's literally like the next minute in the story what 
So I need to make sure when I read this the next time through it, it is like proper. <laughs> Anyways, this is 3.30 a.m. Jen. I need to go to bed. I also apologize if you've heard any fan noise throughout this entire clip because bad boy has been going high speed and I didn't notice until now, I'm so sorry. Two more parts to go through and they are probably the messiest parts that I have, but shouldn't be that much more to go through. I think it's like maybe 30,000 words more. Shouldn't be that much more to go through. Also, I've been adding words, which is not what I wanted to do. It is already a beefy boy. It is sitting currently at 88,000 words. I need to somehow shrink it. So <laughs> if I don't, by the end of this draft, if I don't somehow shrink it in these last two parts i'm gonna have to ask my beta readers to be like hey is there any scene in here that feels just gratuitous to you because i love them all is there any scene that doesn't need to be in here which i hope not because i love this book it's just gonna be substantially bigger than a second story which is not what i wanted but it's fine it's fine the story is as big as it needs to be anyways i'm gonna stop talking good night hello friends it is officially July 7th, it's 1 a.m. So <laughs> technically July 8th, but it is Friday. And thus begins a weekend where I'm going to try and finish <laughs> a little luck. So, whew, all right, bear with me. Life's gonna get a little crazy this weekend because I also wanna read like three books, but that's for a reading vlog. It's like 20,000 words, it's both part four and part five, but recently I've noticed that I do my better at editing at night, so, since it was Friday, goddamn air, sorry. <laughs> Since it's Friday, I was like, mm, I'm just gonna hang out for the night and I'll edit tonight when I go to bed. So I'm bringing my computer to my room and we're gonna have a heckin' editing night. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Sunday of this writing challenge. I did not update you at all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm currently running three vlogs at once and my brain is overloaded and I've been trying to write as much as I can or edit, I guess. I am on chapter 48. I have three chapters left after this. I have done so much work. I can't even tell y'all. I Holy man. Yesterday during my live stream, I got a bunch done and I managed to finish part four because when I talked to you on Friday, I stayed up until like 3, 3.30 and hammered out as much as I could of part four because that's when I might find my productivity. I, for some reason, just find it recently at 1 a.m. And maybe I have a suspicion that it's because I'm cutting away a lot of my distractions and I have moved to a new space to write. And sometimes doing that, sometimes finding a new spot to write in, in your place, like reorients your brain and makes you focus a little more. I found that a lot when I was living with my parents, I would like kind of just randomly decide to go sit in a different spot and like during the day when I was writing and it would just unlock something in my brain. At night, because it's like 1.30 to three in the morning, I am in bed and all I have is maybe some music in my ear to like keep my brain busy and my computer and that's it. Oh, here, I have everything. I got snacks, I got my TV, I got my fans going, my air going, I have my music in my ear, I have my phone by my side, which is a big issue that I had to deal with today. But yeah, so Friday night, zoomed through most of part four, and then yesterday on my live stream, finished up part four, and then today, because I knew I had to get through all of part five today, which was 11 chapters, now is 12, because I cut one of them into pieces. I knew going in, I was like, oh man, I have so much work to get through. And I did, I really did. So I decided, I was like, okay, it was like one o'clock and I started editing and I was so distracted, just constantly picking up my phone, watching the TV instead, like not really focusing in. It took me like two hours to get through one chapter. And I was like, okay, no, I gotta fix this. I gotta change my situation. And so I put my TV on like very, very, very low. So it was just the image playing. And I set up a TikTok live stream because that uses my phone and that takes my phone out of my hands, which is a huge distraction for me recently. It's just all I wanna do is scroll on things. So I put a TikTok live on and I set it 
on that little like half wall in my kitchen there, right along that edge there. I set it there with my tripod and I sat for, I think it was 90 minutes to two hours long editing a little luck. I did it. And by the time I was done, I had gotten through, I think five chapters and I had seven left to go. So I was ready to go. And then I went to today, I went to mom and dad's uh, for dinner and then I came home and jumped onto Amy's live stream, which she has every Sunday and got another two chapters done during Amy's live stream. And since then I am now on chapter 48. So I finished another chapter and now I'm into this chapter, which I'm nearly done. But this chapter was a big rewrite because I changed something in the story, completely changed this ending and, or the, the, end, the wrap up of this one storyline. This has been me basically just like redrafting a, a conversation and, and moving things around, which has been very fun. But now, now I have to finish this chapter, which I'm not far away from do. I'm very close to doing, which is very exciting. And then the next two chapters are like really big moments, the culmination of the romance, if you will, like the moment that, that everyone's been waiting for. And then there's the like epilogue type thing, the after. So there is one thing that I do want to add into the story, but I don't know where I'm going to add it in. It has to be like a throwaway line from uh, Lottie's sister, Cece, because it, it sets up something for the next book. And I don't know whether to put that in the epilogue. I think I might, if she has a conversation with her sister in the epilogue, I might add it in there and do that. But yeah, at, also at this point, this book is 89,000 words. It's probably going to be 90,000 at the end of this. This is a long book and I don't honestly know how to cut this down. So I'm excited to give it to my betas and have them read it and tell me if there's anything that needs changing or anything they don't understand or anything clarification that they need. At this stage, I'm not really looking for big story stuff. I just need people to tell me if it's good <laughs> and if they like it or if there's anything that I should change, like word choices or just you know, getting more eyes on it and giving me the chance to take a break from it for two weeks. When I come back, I'm going to print this out and I'm going to try and cut on this next edit as I'm polishing. But I'm not going to be too mad if it stays in between like 88 to 80 to, to 90,000 words, because honestly, that's such a substantial book. And that's on me. Like I am such an overwriter. I write a lot. My books usually run really long. A second story was a fluke of a book being only like 50,000 words, 58,000 words at the end of the first draft, I think, and ending up being like 67,000 words at the end on um, publishing. So it was a fluke, a total fluke of a book because usually I write so, 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 so much and have to shrink. But Project Luck, I was hoping that the amount that I wrote, I think it was 83,000 or something ridiculous for the first draft. I was hoping I could shrink it into the 70s, but that's just not happening. There's just so much I want to say in this story. So many different scenes that need to happen and I love it. So I hope you guys aren't too mad about the size difference between a second story and a little luck. This is probably more around the size of book that I want to write from here on. But I also know, total t side tangent, but the more pages you have, the more expensive it is for the printer to print and thus less money you get as like revenue because it costs more to print these books because they're bigger, which is a little annoying. It's like cents on the dollar, right? Like it's not that much, but it can be quite a lot in the long run. So I'm hoping it doesn't go over 90K. I don't see why it could or how it could between now and publishing because there's literally nothing else that I want to add in here. It's just a couple, like one more conversation that I think I need to add. And that could be like a throwaway line, totally just off the top, like her, like Lottie asking her sister how work was and throwing that in. But oh my God, hopefully on the next edit, I can like trim a little bit by like combining sentences and stuff like that. And then I need to go through and find a lot of the, I've noticed I do a lot of the same type of wordings. One of the wordings I noticed in a second story when I was reading back through it, because I started reading through my book to annotate it, which is very fun. Highly suggest. <laughs> I love doodling in books. You guys know I love annotating books, but when you are annotating your own work, it's like a next level experience. I don't know what it is. It's just so fun. I noticed I do this this, this one saying a lot. There's a couple derivatives of it or versions of it where it's like, oh, Lottie found herself here or Lottie or Kier found herself doing this or blah, 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 blah. And so I just have to take out the found herself and just Lottie walked 
or, or whatever. I just have to shorten the sentence a little bit. And then there's also whenever I have like them thinking something to themselves, I always do like Lottie thought to herself. And I'm like, of course she's thinking to herself. What? Of course. So I just have to delete the to herself. So there's little things like that or like the word just, I'd have to remove that a little bit. And you know, just like the, the unnecessary words. That's what this next edit is gonna be. It's gonna be a tight line edit, I hope. <laughs> That's the update. I'm gonna go back in and finish these last four chapters of A Little Luck and call it. And at an atrocious word count too. She's sitting at 90,484 words. I'm eating my words from earlier saying, oh, it'll never reach 90,000. This is what happens when you add a song into the last, <laughs> into the second last chapter. I wrote a song for the book, a fairly long one too. Cause damn, I didn't write the whole thing because my brain can't do that, but I wrote a good chunk of it, which is very exciting. Oh God, that like, that second to last chapter just makes my heart so warm. And then the very last chapter, it has the atmosphere of like, you know, the very last chapter of a Charles Dickens book, a Charles Dickens Christmas book, very specifically, like when everyone's come together and there's a dance for no reason, that's the energy I aimed for in that last, like, after it's it's technically the last chapter but i just call it after because i like kind of framing it that way and it is a little bit like it's a tiny little time skip just a couple weeks forward which is so exciting oh it's done i'm not even mad that it's ninety thousand words i'm not even mad maybe that's the word count this was meant to be we'll find out on the next edit round but i'm done i can let this monster out of my brain now i can turn my creativity to Aramount Book 3 after a couple days. I will take a little bit of a break before I dive into that, but it's done. So, a little luck. <laughs> My sapphic cozy fantasy is sitting at 90,484 words currently. There are 51 chapters in total. There are five parts in the book and they're all pretty well balanced, sort of. The last part I think has the most chapters, which is strange. No, it's pretty well balanced between part one and part five. I am so pleased with the way this book is going. I am so excited for more people to read it. I genuinely, this feels so nice. God, this book has been such a journey. Like with the very first time that I started draft one back in November of last year, I just, it just wasn't giving me pleasure. I was just not liking the story. I just felt like it was going nowhere. I was kind of regretting picking it as my next one, even though I had no idea what my next one would be other than this one. I just, it just wasn't giving what I needed it to give. I was in a bad mental health space and all that kind of stuff. But then when I picked it back up again, even like when I finished that draft, I was elated and happy, but in the way that I usually am when I finish drafts, just like super happy to be done it. It was also around the time of like a, a second story being out and, and all that jazz. So there's a lot going on. But right now in this moment, this is the little luck moment. And I am so excited for you guys to read this story. Genuinely, genuinely so excited. <laughs> I, oh man, I feel like there's gonna need to be some kind of a cut in some kind of way. I really don't wanna cut any of the scenes though because I love them all so much. 90,000 words is a lot of words. Right now, I am so pleased. I am just gonna leave it as is. Tomorrow, I will gather it and send it to betas. <sighs> I can breathe. It's like just a gush of relief. Oh, well, my friends, we're at the end of this vlog now. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for not only part one, but part two as well of the editing vlog. I feel like there's gonna be a part three at some point when I pick it back up again at the end of July, once my, I have my feedback from my betas and do this editing thing all over again. It's gonna be fun. That one's gonna be fun because it's gonna be a really interesting read through for me, um, as I've explained in this video previously, but 
Oh, I'm genuinely so pleased with this book. Is it just the finishing a book high? Maybe. Maybe I'll come back to this in a couple weeks and be like, wow, this is a piece of garbage fire, but I don't think so. I think that I did this one justice. I think I really did. I'm so excited to hear what people think of it. I really, really, truly am. I'm so excited for people to be my wives. I'm gonna end this vlog here, my friends. Hello, my lovely friends. I'm popping in from, I don't even know what date it is, July 12th, something like that. Hi, I wanted to pop in and kind of add a little something to the end of this vlog. If you made it this far, I am going to do an official video announcing this, but I figured why not? You made it this far, you, should, you deserve a treat. I'm going to officially announce release date for A Little Luck. A Little Luck, my Sapphic Cozy Fantasy book two in the Aramount book series is coming out October 19th. 2023 this fall October 19th feels like such a good day <laughs> it's a Thursday just like a second story was released on a Thursday and I think it's going to be a good a good week to have it come out I think it's gonna it just feels right it feels right every time I think about it I'm like yeah October 19th it feels good so yes there will be an official announcement video once I settle on a blurb for the back of the book and for Goodreads and Storygraph and once I have it uploaded to Storygraph and Goodreads there's gonna be an official announcement announcing a little luck and telling you all the details of it and everything so that you can watch out for that. But yeah, if you made it to the end of this vlog, you now know the release date of A Little Luck. Put it in your calendars, friends. The wives are coming. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for these however many weeks this has been, but all right, my friends, I'll catch you in another one very soon. Stay kind and keep on writing.